Before you take to the airwaves with your own hot take on a trending topic, answer these three questions to make sure your words aren't doing more harm than good. Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. You've built this podcasting platform, so you might as well use that platform to further causes you believe in, right? I mean, especially when those idiots on the other side are using their own podcast to spread their message, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Many things we appreciate that radio gave to podcasting, but maybe radio in some cases was a bad influence on us. And one of those bad influences... Look at the most popular radio shows, and they're all shock jocks. They're all the people who have a hot take about some crazy, horrible, polarizing thing, whatever it is. And that's what they share out there. So many people in podcasting think, well, maybe we should do the same thing, too. Now, whether or not you think that your audience wants to hear your take on a hot topic or not, maybe they do, maybe they don't. What I'd like to give you today is three simple questions you can ask yourself before you say something on the microphone to decide whether or not you want to talk about it. Three simple things, three simple questions you can ask yourself to help make that determination. And here they are. Let's just get right to it. Number one, is the hot take that you have, is it the truth? Not, not does it sound truthful. Not, is this something I want to be true? Nor even nothing, does this fit the worldview I want to be out there? No, I, I'm talking about truth. Verifiable, objective truth. And the way you come to that determination is, have you verified the source? I mean, if it's really true, that thing you want to share, that thing you want to talk about, you should be able to not just go off of a headline or someone's tweet, but actually do just a smidge of research to make sure that it is true. Verify it, at least one other source verifying it, a truth, you know, a reputable source, ideally. Do that before just reacting and having a comment, because do we need more of that stuff? Now listen, I know you're not a journalist, maybe, if you're, <laughs> if you're a podcasting journalist, you know what I'm talking about, but for every other podcaster out there, look, we're not journalists. So I'm not suggesting we go down the deep, heavy path that people who've studied journalism go through, but even though you, you're not a journalist, you can at least check one more source to see if it's actually really true. And if you're worried about the speed to market, don't. Look, you don't have to be the first one to have a hot take. In fact, chances are you won't be. Because by the time your show, your episode will have gone live, it's already been through the news cycle of 15,000 times. Twitter is all over it. Radio is all over it. You've got time to verify the source. Number two. Is this necessary? Is your hot take, you jumping on behind the microphone, is it necessary? And the way you answer that question is this. What if you didn't actually talk about it. I mean, what what would happen? You, you know you don't have to talk about everything on your show, right? Chances are you've got a very niche thing you're talking about. So is it necessary for you to talk about something away from that niche that's in the hot take scene? Now, to me, there's really only one test. There's only one test to answer this question, yes or no, for me. And it's this. Does my silence make me complicit? And chances are, there may be some things that are terribly egregious things, and if I don't say something, I'm complicit. So I will say something. But for the vast majority of things, hot takes that are out there, me being silent about it isn't bad. I'm not being complicit. So it's a simple binary thing. Am I complicit if I stay quiet about this? The third thing. If I've said yes to both those, yes, it is true, and yes, this is necessary because my silence makes me complicit. The third thing is, are you the right messenger? 
Of course, you're free like I am free to have and express our opinions on anything that we want to. But we don't have to do that. We're not compelled to do that. I mean, take me, for example. Yes, I do have an opinion about the responsibility of our elected officials to pay their taxes. But you know what? I'm not a politician. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not a tax professional. I'm not an economist. So, no, I'm not the right messenger to talk about those things. I mean, it comes down to qualification. Sure, in those cases, I wasn't qualified. But it also has to do with demographics. Look, I can lend my support and my voice to positions where I'm not that demographic simply because I, I empathize with the plight. I think it's important to discuss. So I can lend my support to people who I am in a different demographic as they are. But that's lending my support. I'm not about to take a critical view of another problem of a demographic that is not mine, unless I've actually walked a mile in the shoes of those people. Again, I am free to have an opinion and express my opinion about anything I want to, but I don't have to. Sometimes having that hot take in podcasting makes you come off like a jerk. It's made me come off like a jerk in time, so I've really resisted that temptation. So... Hopefully these three questions, I'll repeat them again. Is this the truth? Again, objective truth. Is it necessary for me to have my opinion? And am I the right messenger? I have to answer yes to every one of those so that I don't come off like a jerk when I bring my hot take to you. Now, Two things before I run away. One is, if you'd like to support the show, please go to buymeacoffee.com slash evoterra. And yes, my bookkeeper, hi Paula, makes sure that I report every single dollar of income that I make to the government so I pay my taxes properly. Yes, I do. Also, just finished up a huge amount of hours where I committed to going into the website and really improve the listener experience, if you will, of podcast pontifications. Now it's so much easier to stay focused in one area and just see the episodes about... A particular topic like accessibility for podcasting, uh, distribution strategy, ethics in podcasting, growing your podcast, monetization efforts, SEO for podcasters, also self care for podcasters, and lots of other topics. Each time I've talked about those episodes or those topics, now they're clustered together, so it's very easy for you to go through and not only find episodes that you want to learn more about, but also it's an easier way for you now to share the topics themselves with people. Maybe people who've yet to be exposed to podcast pontifications and want to dive deeper into a topic of importance to working podcasters like ourselves. So it's now even easier for you to get people to podcast pontifications. They'll find the content they're looking for so much, so much better. That's it. I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers. (laughs) 